All right, I just wanted to uh, share with you a latest uh, uh, submission that just had arrived. This was a uh, Ancient Express submission, and um, it's all ancients, um, mostly Roman, um, Byzant Byzantine, and uh, one uh, one Greek. So, um, if you're into Romans, you'll appreciate some of these. If not, you'll be looking at them, going, "That really is a good coin to certify." But anyway, um, let's start off with, uh, get right into it. Um, this one is a, um, uh, a Gina turtle, um, very early, 525 to 480 BC. I had actually bought it. I already put the sticker back on it. I bought it raw from a heritage auction and um, sent it in to get certified. It only came back a VG, but I've always wanted one, and they're really cool. Um, 12.03 grams, so it's a nice heavy coin. Came in a really thick holder. Um, so it's a nice, uh, nice example. I was happy with it. I got a good deal on it from uh, from Heritage Raw, so now it's certified. Um, I was hoping for a fine, but eh, you get what you get. Um, the next one is a uh, is a Roman. Um, this is a Roman Imperial Empire um, Drusus. Um, died in 23 AD. Um, this was uh, minted um, just about when he died uh, under Tiberius. So, um, yeah, he's, he's not real common. And uh, I wanted him for my uh, complete Roman set. So, um, there he is. The next one is a Germanicus. Very, very, very famous. I believe he's the brother of Jute Crucis. Um, he died in 1980. He was, uh, he should have been the emperor. Um, he's uh, basically known as the um, Rome's greatest emperor that they never had. Um, so yeah, he was a, he was a phenomenal emperor, a uh, phenomenal general. And um, this was uh, posthumous under Claudius. Um, and again, uh, Got a fine on it. A little rough surfaces, but again, he's not real common, so uh, I'm happy with it. Happy I got a fine. Uh, Drusus was a choice, very fine. That one was a fine. Um, this other one, if anybody knows anything about Roman coins, um, yeah, the VG hurts a little bit. Um, Would have rather had a fine on it, but um, he's so rare and um, so expensive um, but this is still a, at least a $1,500 coin if not you know upwards of that um, he was only emperor for 21 days um, Claudian the first both him and his son um, he's actually his son committed suicide uh, his son was killed in battle as soon as he found out his son was killed in battle he killed himself on the same day so uh, technically he's not the shortest reigning emperor his son Claudian the second is but um still only 21 days so yeah um a vg on him but uh extremely rare and extremely valuable so uh, i'm just happy to own one um i need to find myself a Gordian the second next one is uh romulus um he was the son of uh maxentius i think and um when he died Maxentius had coins uh, minted for him. Um, he did hold some offices, but um, was never made Caesar or anything like that. Uh, so this is a bi-quarter Numus in very fine. Um, it looks a little rough when you when you see it, but um, they're pretty rare. He's listed as, uh, he's down the list as far as uh, rare Roman coins go. So um, again, yet I'm happy to get it and I was very happy with the great choice, very fine. Um, so anyway, that's Romulus. The next one, um, I also bought at a heritage auction and I put the sticker on it. I bought it raw. Um, it's a Constantine the Fourth, um, Byzantine Tremesis. Um, yeah, it's, it's not, uh, you know, it's an XF. This is just how they were minted. They were just kind of minted, um, Kind of rough and, and uh, 
kind of sloppy. That's the way they kind of tell the difference between constants the second, which this says perhaps constants the second, and constants the fourth. Constants the fourth is a little more rougher and uh, not as well struck as constants the second, which is the same design, but uh, because of the roughness on it, it's believed to be a constants the fourth, and that's what I bought it as. And I already put the heritage sticker on it. I bought it raw from Heritage again. So sometimes you make it a little lot buying them raw and sending them in, especially when you're buying from a reputable house. Um, this is a Byzantine um, Follis, um Theophilus, 829 to 842. I got a choice XF on this. Um, yeah, not a lot of people are into Byzantine coins, but uh, my ultimate goal is to complete the set all the way from... Uh, you know, Julius Caesar and a little bit before him, all the way straight through to the last Byzantine Empire, the Emperor. So, um, you know, I need these guys, and uh, some of them are really hard to get your hands on, so grab them up when you can. Um, so that's him. That's in XF, so you can tell him. By 829, they really weren't putting a lot of care into their coins, because it still looks kind of rough. I think that's rough. Is a choice XF for uh, Leo the Fourth from 776 to 780. And this is also a choice XF of the Byzantine. Four separate emperors on this: Leo the Fourth, Constantine the Sixth, Leo the Third, and Constantine the Fifth. But it was actually minted by Leo the Fourth, so it fills my Leo the Fourth slot. I should use them to fill four slots. <laughs> anyway that's that submission I have another one arriving tomorrow it has about 13 coins in it so I'll be doing another video soon but thanks for tuning in if you enjoy uh, hit the like button and subscribe um, every time I get a submission in I uh, I'll uh, make a video of it thanks a lot bye